Hello, I'm Resonator Zen. Like today, I did a video earlier today, but now I was looking over some news and I see that the stock market is in just a little bit of a crisis. I mean, this in this country of the, the greatest country in the world, we're in the biggest culture fuck of the situation ever. Okay, not to mention that we're in a war that costs us over billions of dollars each year and lives lost and on top of all of that the Bush administration has basically led us into such a deep deep well of despair that we're basically fucked any way you look at it we're screwed the stock market's going really sour for consecutive days of going down gold has gone up whoopty fucking do and um, other thing climbed up with it, which is also a safe haven people in times of crisis. But, um, man, it's just a bang. I mean, after we bailed out, um, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and yeah, we also bailed out the other country earlier in the, the administration. And it doesn't look that great for the greatest country in the world. We're sort of entering the clusterfuck stage of this. I mean, the incumbent president has got us probably into this mess, and now he can't get us out of it. Out of it, and hopefully, 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 it sort of hopefully this whole crisis rebounds. But it's not looking that great to me, at least. And uh, I did a poll. And it was uh, what's um, what's your outlook for the uh, outlook for the US economy over the next year? 67% are pessimistic. I'm one of those 67% who uh, think that it's going to go down. Uh, I mean, we're spending, I mean, we're spending billions of dollars on a war, and and then we get financially hit, and we're just basically in between two problems, and we don't have a way to fix either of them. And uh, not, not my. I'm not saying that um, the stock market is my my forte in the world. That I'm not some sort of stock market savant. I, I'm just saying that it sort of gets this thing out of, out of hand. And to add on this, I know Neil uh, got busted with his son. Uh, of suspicion of narcotics possession. <laughs> oh man. Uh, authorities said they were doing a probation search for the family's now blue home when they found red new meal in possession of methamphetamine and a vial of drug was allegedly found in Ryan's bedroom. The father's son is now being held on $10,000 bail. And, um, that's, that's funny, so. I, I, I've seen Ryan on there before, I'm not a big fan of him. Not big. But, uh, yeah, not, not really this. Uh, hmm. Just, this whole country's in a nose die. And, I mean, and then now, uh, Robert Hood Bank Manager stole 7 million pounds from his clients and gave it to needy customers. That's what we need in this country. We need someone who's going to take money from the rich, give it to the poor and needy people amongst us who need the money to help support their families, and not just have the rich people get a little dent during this crisis and the poor get a huge crash in their pockets because of the financial crisis this country's in. The rich should help redistribute their wealth among people who really, really need it. And, but that's probably not going to happen because people, rich people don't care about poor people, underprivileged people. 
they're snobby and obnoxious and they don't help anybody. That's not to say there are a few exceptions, but if I had a lot of money and we're going through this con this this recession and time of inflation and when things are going so bad, I would give my money. I would give it as much as I could for the, so that I could survive. Just me personally survive. And I would disperse it amongst people who need it more my wealth more than I do. I would even do that even if we weren't in a recession because I I wouldn't really need all that money. I would just buy food. I wouldn't need an extravagant house because I'm not that so egocentric. And I think that's why we're in such a crisis now is because people are out for themselves. But I digress. But, uh, alright, that's, that's all I had to say. That was an air design. I'm not for the congress. Subscribe, rate, comment, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.